what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is lauren and on this channel i like to upload videos on motherhood and baby although braylon has just turned one in the last week so any baby related content will be progressing into the toddler content so if you found this channel because you have a toddler then hi welcome I'm winging it, maybe we can wing it together, but yeah, all content is gonna be moving to the toddler stage now, so exciting times. But other than that, I do like to upload videos on home renovation and updates and speed cleaning and organization as well. So if that's the kind of content you enjoy watching, I would love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, press the notification bell for future videos, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a what am I miss bong changing bag for a toddler and specifically a toddler that's going into childcare. I've realised that of all the kind of packing my changing bag videos I've done, I've never actually sat down and done a what am I changing bag video. So I thought today's video would be the perfect opportunity to do that whilst being able to showcase and review my new changing bag. This changing bag is from a company called Miss Fong who have kindly gifted me this bag to review for the channel and it hasn't come at a more perfect time because I have been looking for a new changing bag for a little while. You will know that I've had the backpack style for quite some time. I've had it since before Braylon was born. I used it as his hospital bag. It's been used as his overnight bag, his swimming bag absolutely everything. We have used that bag to death and it's been a brilliant bag but I have thought about it long and hard and I thought I really just want to get a fresh new bag, something a bit more my style, something which I could use as a changing bag and as a holiday bag so we are going on holiday very shortly and I plan to take this bag as my hand luggage so yeah i thought i'll just get something a bit more in keeping with what i tend to use anyway i will show you everything that's in this bag but as i'm reviewing this bag i will obviously go through everything about it as you can see it's a tanned faux leather effect on the exterior we have this gold kind of brass metalwork hardware and then in the inside the interior is this nice cream colour but it's actually wipeable. Obviously changing bags can get a bit grubby so definitely need a wipeable interior. You'll also be able to say that it comes with a multitude of pockets. We have hundreds of pockets in this bag and on the outside of the bag we've got two on the side with zips. We've got one large one on the front with another zip and we've got a big one at the back which zips up at the bottom so you can use that as a piece of storage or you can undo the zip and you can actually slide <laughs> this bag over like the luggage if you're going on holiday you can slide it over the handlebar of your wheeled luggage but I tend to just keep it closed for extra storage this bag can be carried two different ways we've got the over the shoulder strap which I personally prefer to use at the moment. And then we've got the backpack straps, which can be detached at the bottom. And you can just hide them in that pocket if you're not really keen on using the backpack straps. That's my preference at the moment. I do unhook these and slip them into the pocket at the top. So then it just acts as an over the shoulder bag. It's pretty standard that all changing bags come with this now, but we do have some pram clips as well. This is my only reservation about the bag are the pram clips. When I talk about the bag going forward, it's going to be nice and positive. However, this is my only reservation because they're not the type of clips which keep the bag still on the pram. Some clips will have a bit of a grasp to it, in which case bags won't slip off the pram. However, these ones don't, so it is a little bit difficult to keep this bag on the pram. However, it's not the biggest deal breaker. I'm still more than happy to use this bag because the positives far outweigh this one little minor negative. So that's just my personal opinion. You may get this bag and find that actually it fits very well on your pram and it won't slip off. But for our pram personally, we don't use these ones. We also obviously have this little handle to be able to hang your bag up when it's not in use. 
So this is the Miss Bong Leather Diaper Backpack Convertible in the colour brown. And like I said, this has been gifted to me by the Miss Bong team. However, these do retail at £47. I'll link both the Amazon website and the backpack on their official website as well. But yeah, I absolutely love this as a backpack. It's definitely more my style. Darren doesn't mind using it as a changing bag, but I think if he had the choice of the two, he would obviously prefer like the grey backpack that I had been using for over a year now, but he doesn't mind using this one. And personally, I find it has a lot more space than the one we used to use. We have a lot more pockets, like I mentioned. I can't wait to show you inside how many pockets we have and how I fill it for a trip to the nursery. So this is my everyday changing bag for a toddler. I do use the pockets for my personal belongings. I rarely, rarely use these pockets for any of Greyland's items. So I know I'm gonna show you everything that I take for Greyland's nursery, but I thought just to give you an idea of size and space and everything like that, I will talk about what I put in these and other pieces within the bag as well. So I'll show you that before we head inside the bag. So everything I put into these front pockets is everything I will put into my handbag for a day. I'm a type 1 diabetic and in this front zip pocket I'll keep my two insulin pens. I also keep a couple of needles for those pens in this pocket and also a regular pen as it's handy to have. The large open front pocket is where I keep my purse and a couple of snacks for myself. Usually just in case I have low blood sugar during the day I like to have the snacks on hand. In one of the side zipped pockets is where I'll keep some lip balm or lippy and then I keep a small bottle of perfume in the open side pocket. In the opposite side zip pocket I put a spare charging cable for obvious reasons and in the open side pocket I'll keep my iPhone for easy reach. Finally, if I'm carrying my personal belongings, inside the main zipper of the changing bag there's a clasp attached to a four lever strap which is where I hang my car and house keys to. Very handy and you know they can only be in the bag if later on in the day you're wondering where they are. So obviously I don't have those pieces in this bag right now because I am showing you this for the purpose of nursery. However, there is one thing that I don't keep in the bag, which it's handy to have, perhaps if you have a newborn, but it does come with a changing mat. It's quite a small changing mat, hence why I think it'll be better for younger babies, but it's just the same colour as the bag on the outside with the gold brass detailing, and then on the other side it's that wipeable cream material again, which is obviously needed for the changing mat, but I don't personally keep this in this changing bag only because Graylin is very stubborn when it comes to getting changed now and he doesn't like lying down he's more than happy to get changed standing up so there's no point me having the changing mat in his bag and it just frees up that little bit of extra space. Also just an FYI I am putting out a last day of maternity leave video probably after this one um, where I'll show you what I'm packing for Graylin's first day at nursery some of the stuff in that video doesn't correspond with what's in this bag today because Graylin has been in nursery for about a week now and I've got an idea of what things um, Graylin uses at nursery now as opposed to what I thought he might use. So if you happen to be watching that video and then you've come to this video and wonder why the content is quite different then that's the reason why. Okay so let's show you what we have inside of Graylin's Miss Bong changing bag. So if we open up the top, it takes you right into the main body of the bag, which it's a good size bag. You can fit so much in this bag. It's absolutely amazing. Like I said, I definitely think you can fit more in this changing bag than you would the regular backpacks. I might have to test that out, but on review of it, I certainly think you can do so. I don't know where to start. There's just, there's that many pockets. Just lots of nice organised areas for you to keep your toddler's items in. Let us start in, I'll start in the back pocket. So, this back pocket that I'm opening is where I keep all of Graylin's changing pieces. So that's nappies, nappy wipes, nappy sacks, pseudocrine, 
they all fit in this back pocket here very comfortably we use the pseudocreme we just got a kind of miniature size I wouldn't say it's miniature it's probably the medium size but that has lasted us such a long time we have some nappy sacks for obvious reasons I have got about four nappies so I had initially packed about five or six nappies but Graylin gets a daily report when he comes back from the nursery and so far he's only done about two or three nappy changes in the day so I'm just going to pack four just in case he happens to have a, an accident but I think four nappies is enough for his stay in nursery and then the nappy wipes to use are the loopy loo ones we kind of float between different baby wipes depending on where we're shopping we typically shop at little so that's why we have some loopy loo ones at present right I will take you through the main section of the bag now Graylin has breakfast and lunch at nursery. I start work at quarter past eight and Graylin has breakfast at half eight. So I put his breakfast in this tub. It's quite a sizable tub, as you can see. And then his lunch goes in this one. It's a bit bigger than the breakfast one. Again, quite a sizable tub. And these fit comfortably within the middle section of the Miss Fong bag. And then underneath that, I keep his spare change of clothes. So I always pack a vest and then an outfit of some sort. So we've got some jeans, a t-shirt, and then a pair of socks. And they fit very comfortably just at the very bottom of the changing bag. And then both lunch boxes will sit on top of that quite comfortably. We have two insulation pockets at the side where I keep Graylin's juice and his milk. I send him off to nursery with a bottle of whole milk, about seven ounces of whole milk which he will drink it about. I think we've got his daily routine down as maybe two o'clock for his bottle um, but when it's cool it stays in the little insulated pocket of the bag and obviously stays cooler for longer. I'm not too sure if they put the bottle of milk into the fridge when he gets there but it's insulated so it should stay cool as long as it's in that pocket. And then we also have his water bottle which I fill with water. I said juice before but he doesn't drink juice just yet. He does stick with water. We use the Munchkin sippy cup. This one has a little straw on so it's easier for him to suck up the water. I know we should be using like the free flow ones or the 360 ones because it gets your toddler or baby used to drinking like free flow but Graylin just couldn't figure it out at the moment so I am just letting him use this one because obviously I need him to keep hydrated and this is the only thing that's helping so far. I did have Graylin's name written on it for nursery. Might be an idea to get some kind of labels which you can put on all of these items if you are taking your file to nursery, just so obviously they don't go missing. But again, that one goes into another insulated pocket right here. So we've got two, one each side, and I just put Graylin's water in the other one. Actually, I'll take Graylin's water bottle out so you can see the back pockets. We've got two back pockets here, one without a zip and the second one does have a zip. The one without a zip, I keep a couple of spare dummies because Graylin still uses dummies at the moment and God forbid he loses a dummy whilst he's at nursery. Miss Fong actually do do little, they're called pacifier pouches so you can clip this pouch onto the side of your Miss Fong bag and it keeps your pacifier or dummy sterilized and clean ready to use in the day but I'm not too precious about that so I just keep his dummies in this little pocket out of the way of everything else and then the pocket next to it the zipped one I kind of just put a home comfort in there and when I say a home comfort I mean just a toy for Graylin he loves this kind of fidget popper and I just put that in there so if he desperately wanted something familiar from home at least he's got that in that pocket. At the front of the bag, we've got a couple of pockets. We have two 
unzipped pockets here and this one has his kind of cleaning bits in we have his spoon it's the baby spoon and then the baby silicon bib which I just fold up and put into that little pocket I did initially put his baby bowl in there as well like the kind of free compartment bowl but even when he's at home he doesn't really eat from the bowl he just eats off the high chair tray so I'm more than happy for them to do that at nursery as well and it obviously saves a bit of packing the night before and then in the second pocket we have his kind of teething bit so we have his matchstick monkey I've said this before it's survived the dogs the dogs have managed not to find this one or I don't know what it is they haven't wanted to chew this one so we still have this matchstick monkey and then we have some teeth and gel we use bongella sometimes use the ashton and parsons powder but we just find the bongella seems to work a bit better for Graylin. and Graylin is currently teething at the moment he's just cut his third and fourth teeth at the top so he's got two at the bottom and he's now got two at the top which is very adorable but obviously very heartbreaking when he gets upset about it so I just keep all of his teething bits in there not a lot but and then finally we have this little secret zip here which just houses Graylin's red book personal child record which every mother has to carry around with them I think till they're about five years old to be quite honest this book will never leave this changing bag and the section there is the perfect size for this book perfect size for any kind of tablet any kind of notepad notebook red book it's just a nice extra bit of storage so that's everything packed up into Graylin's bag it doesn't actually seem like a lot when I've sat down and just shown you everything that we pack in his nursery bag but that's quite a blessing because like I said if you happen to watch the next video where I'm kind of fretting about what to pack for Graylin for his first day at nursery it did seem like a lot of stuff and it actually doesn't use as much stuff as what I thought he would so it all fits nicely into this bag and it's not as large as what you would think it is I mean it is a nice sizable bag but it doesn't look overbearing so yeah you could definitely get away with that as hand luggage as well which I plan to do shall we count how many pockets this thing has okay so we've obviously got the initial bag we have one two three four five six seven eight inside we have nine as the back pocket and then we have 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 compartments of this bag to be able to put all your bits and bobs in which is that's quite a lot and don't forget you can also clip your keys on it very handy feature to have that little clip for the keys because I'm a sucker for always checking my pockets for my keys and also don't forget you get this changing mat with it as well perfect for a newborn or smaller baby probably not so much for a toddler but you can never go wrong with having a spare changing mat in my opinion so thank you once again to Miss Fong for gifting me this bag to review for the channel. Very on trend with the fashion and that's kind of the story of Miss Fong. She wanted to design changing bags that were very fashionable, not your average looking changing bag, which as you can see, you wouldn't look at this bag and think that it's a changing bag, which I think is very key to the Miss Fong company. Yeah, I love it. Go ahead and check out this bag in the description box below. So that's absolutely everything I put in Graylin's changing bag for nursery, which he goes to nursery three times a week. That was one of the Miss Fong bags, which I'll link below in the description box. But go ahead and check out the Miss Fong website where she has a whole array of different styles of bags, all very on trend in fashion. And go ahead and pick yourself up a Miss Fong bag. I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already a part of the green tea please family go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below i will see you in my next video take care bye